After a year of planning, we finally started on site. It was 12 months ago that we first visited Chatsworth to understand the concept behind Dan Pearson's design and to look at the trout stream in detail. We spent the last six months creating a full-scale mock-up of the garden at the Crocus Nursery. With over 100 rocks weighing approximately 200 tonnes, we had to build the garden in its entirety before the show to ensure that we could deliver the garden within the 20 days that were given at Chelsea. Each rock is individually numbered and its position accurately recorded so that we know exactly where it's going. Graham and his team concentrate on the positioning of the rocks, whilst Mark and his crew focus on the positioning of the trees. We need to plant both at the same time to create the woodland feel that Dan is aiming to achieve. After a few days, the shape of the garden emerges, with the strata of the rock becoming quite pronounced. It's incredibly difficult to imitate nature, especially when you only have a few days to place so many rocks. But the garden already seems to have a magical feel about it. But there's still a lot of work to do to get the trout stream built and the soil levels ready for planting. After planting over 20 semi-mature trees, some up to 6 metres high, our last major challenge is to plant our enormous willow. At 60 years old and weighing 6 tonnes, it's the last lift for our crane team from Beckham Pollitzer. The day starts badly with high winds gusting up to 40 miles an hour, so we have to call it off. But the next day the weather is kinder to us, and by 10 o'clock our wonderful tree is safely in the ground. Our attention now starts to turn to planting. Dan sits down with the planting team to discuss the finer details and to agree who does what. And the wildflower turf arrives from Hampshire. Chris and Toby from Walter Dean Nurseries have come to help, as has Hugh. We've grown approximately 15,000 plants for the garden, so they have a busy week ahead of them.